That's a shame. <clears throat> well, I'm a social worker, so I understand. Oh, my man took it. Took it like a champ. Took it like a champ. Took it like an animal. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka that villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. We are running Boros Token Combo Spam right here. This is a very, this is a version of a popular deck right now. I've seen a lot of people running the Boros Token, um, especially the Boros Factory, I think they call it, uh, or Boros Forge. Mine's a little different. Mine is going to lean a lot less into control, a more into token spam, damage, and a little bit of otter haste on the high end to really bring out the uh, to really bring out the interesting power and uh, unique abilities of War Leader's Call and all of these other interesting stuffs right here. So <clears throat> this is my fun one. This is this is really fun. I like it. And I will tell you, I will sell you one thing about this one, guys. If you're struggling with Azorius or control. Control hates this deck. So if you're really struggling with that, stay tuned and watch it right here. Also, apologies for my voice. I'm a little bit sick right now, so that's why my voice sounds a little bit weird, and I might be talking a little bit stranger than I normally do. So I do apologize for my sick voice. So I need you to do something for me, though, before we get into this one, guys. And that is, of course, tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button, because if you don't, if you don't press that like and subscribe button, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to get attacked by the like and subscribe, which you may or may know, not know is a YouTube werewolf who will viciously maul you and claw you uh, for not liking the video and subscribing to the channel today. Join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for our live streaming goodness. We would love to have you there live and in person uh, on Twitch or on YouTube. Either one of them is going to be great. Uh, you hit that bell, you'll be notified when we go live on YouTube. Check out our Discord community for all latest news, information, poster decks, post memes, anything else that you might need is going to be there. And of course, uh, this deck and all the other ones that I build are going to be available down below on my Aether Hub. So if you want a copy of this deck yourself, go right down there to my Aether Hub. You follow that link and uh, you'll find a very good place to go and you'll get all of my decks, including a copy of this one. So what are we talking about here with damage? Um, well, <clears throat> first things first, um, damagers, removals, and, and one drops. We're going to go with novice inspector and this kind of throws people off the scent right here. Uh, we actually really do want it for the clue token and just as an early one drop one, two play, he's just such a good card. We aren't doing the trick where we're cracking him open for goblins. So if you think we're cracking him open for goblins, we are not in fact doing that. He's honestly just good for the extra card draw, a 1-2 drop right there. He's just pretty good. He's just a good 1-drop that we want to do right there. Um, just pretty standard white 1-drop. So the clue token will have, have to come in handy. The extra cards will come in handy. All of it will be useful. Now, let me talk about the removal that we have and the damage that we have. I'm going to go with 2 shocks, which is going to be 1 red, 6 words, 2 damage. Um, very useful when casting Storm Splitter. Also very useful to just pop out those early cards that are dangerous. Those early mice, those early bats that are a real big problem, really just gets rid of them quick, plus it can go direct damage. I'm also going to go two lightning strikes right here, which is going to be three damage to any target. A little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, mana on that one, but I like the variety to change it up. Now you can do any one. If you want to go four shocks and four light or four lightning, feel free to change it up how you want. There's also some alternatives. I don't think a braid is the bad idea. A braid will blow up an artifact too, which can be very handy, especially for artifact decks that you're facing. So I wouldn't say I wouldn't say no to uh, maybe upside boarding in a braid. It can't go face, but it's pretty good. Then of course we're gonna go four lightning helixes. Yes, probably one of the best Boros damagers right now. Uh, three damage and we gain three life. Really useful against aggro. Really useful against pretty much anything or directly to face to make sure that we stay in the game. On top of that, we're really hitting the removal because, man, there's a lot of stuff out there. We're also going to go with four get-losts. Now, 
I don't like that Get Lost gives you a uh, map tokens. It can give your opponent map tokens, which I don't think is uh, crazy. I'm not crazy about that right there. However, it can be useful for destroying enchantments, planeswalkers as well. If you want to kind of swap some out, I wouldn't mind putting a destroy evil to two if you want to do the enchantments or something that destroys the big boys right there. So either one of those is fine. But you're going to need to suppress your opponent a lot. Everyone is playing aggro. Everyone is really coming in hot with a lot of things. So what's the main engine of this deck? Well, like I said, generate tokens, do damage, get too wide and big to even just ever do anything. We, we're just going to get too big for him. Skrelv's Hive, the little Phyrexian Hive that could. Look at these little tiny Skrelv's he's got going on there. One white and one enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life and create a 1-1 one, one colorless Phyrexian might artifact creature token. Uh, with toxic one and it cannot block corrupted as long as you have three or more poison counters they have toxic and lifelink that will come in handy putting out a creature every single turn putting out a one one creature every single turn that is constantly keeping pressure a couple of these is good again you might be losing life but if you're doing toxic damage it's not that bad of an idea right there um it's not that bad of an idea and again if you combine that with War Leader's Call, every time, every turn, you're losing a life, but they're losing a life. We'll win the War of Attrition eventually. Uh, that's going to be very useful, especially when we combine it um, with these other combinations here, which is, of course, Herbrisk's Forge. Always been a good card, but it recently has a resurgence. I think, I uh, can't remember if it was Legend or Crow Keys, a big streamer guy. He put out an Herbrisk's Forge deck of Boros, and everyone's been riffing on that, and this is my riff on it. One red and two. I've done these Urbris Forge War Leaders calls too, by the way. I've, I've done these previously, but this is kind of the new version because we have more token support. So basically every turn it puts an oil counter in and you get an X slash one red Phyrexian horror creature token with trample and haste where X is the number of oil. So it starts at a one, one, then it creates a two, one, three, one, four, one, etc. It starts cascading very much of how much a big creature that's going to come down and do damage. And since it has travel trample, you can't really chump block it. It's always going to put out damage. Very, very useful. Not everyone has, uh, people don't normally keep, um, people don't normally keep, uh, artifact removal. So these are very, very threatening on the board. Uh, they just constantly put down damage. You combine that with Skrulf's Hive, you're always putting threats on the board constantly. And this is why Control has such a problem with it. If you time your Urbrisk Forge right, you get it when they don't have the mana to counter, or you just keep playing it till you get it out, they don't really have, board wipes don't really do anything because that uh, guy you attacked with dies at the beginning of the next, at the end of your end step, you get sacrificed. So you're never really keeping a permanent board presence, so there's really nothing to board wipe. It's kind of down. They can't really get rid of uh, the artifact. They're just always going to keep pressure on the board. Brotherhood's End right here is going to be a sweeper. This is going to be useful for bat decks, for your mono red decks. Again, we need to keep people off the board. We really, really, really need to suppress people. Three damage to each creature and or planeswalker or destroy all artifacts and manufacturers. That really messes up Azorius as well. If they're running Azorius... Uh, artifacts that's pretty much just lights out they're just they're just done if they're running azorius artifacts and you hit this turn four turn five they're just turned off man they're just they're just shut off so a uh, very useful card to have to sweep against aggro and of course artifacts uh caretaker's talent is a new one from none other than the bloom boro and this kind of is an interesting one that really really brings up the power of this whole thing one white and two has that lovely bunny lady on there with little bats and little mice so adorable whenever you whenever one or more tokens enters the battlefield um draw a card this ability only triggers each one so for three any time that create a token which either with herbarisks or Skrell's hive or frankly novice inspector don't forget that that creates a clue token uh we get a card every turn so we're almost going to get an extra card every turn then you pay one when class becomes level two create a copy of a token great we can create another a little hive token we can create another rabbit token another clue token any kind of token that we want we can make another one which is extremely cool i'll show you a combo with that later as well then at the high end you pay the four one white and three creature tokens you control get plus one plus one big damage there now all these Skrelv's Hives are big boys. They're three threes coming out. These things are huge. Now they're coming out at like six three. Big, 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 big damage right there. So we are starting to really start to hurt people with that. 
And when you combine that enhancement with uh, right here, the other three drop, War Leader's Call, one white, one red, and one Boros Colors, creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So now if you have both of these out and activated, if you've been suppressing them, every single creature is going to get plus three, plus three. And whenever a creature enters the battlefield on your turn, um, uh, whenever a creature you control uh, enters, War Leader's Call deals one damage to each opponent extremely cool so that means each turn war leaders would be putting out uh war leaders putting out one damage for herbarisks and one damage for Skrell. trex also tells me that there is also a trick i forgot about this you do, you sacrifice your token at the beginning of your end step you can actually have the token go in and if it doesn't die you can duplicate it with caretakers a talent and that token doesn't die because you made it, you have to sacrifice the token it got generated from Herbarisks, but if you create a duplicate with Caretakers, the Caretaker token stays on the board, so you could potentially keep another like 5-1 uh, Trample token on the board. Very, very cool combo. I actually did that earlier. I was impressed by it. Thank you for pointing that out, Trex. Trex helped me build this deck, by the way. He's a great guy. Um, so War Leader's Call combined with that. Then I have the surprise at the high end. I really like this one. This is kind of the surprise. Everyone thinks they know what's going on, and boom, you get hit with an otter with a fish sword. Yeah. One red and three, one four, otter wizard storm splitter. Haste. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a token that's a copy of storm splitter. Sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step. So now, if the game goes long, we throw this guy down. Maybe we have five or six mana. Guess what? We cast something like shock, we get two of them. And we cast, uh, it's a creature token. That means all creature tokens get plus two, plus two. And for another creature ending the battlefield, they take one damage. If we keep casting spells, like let's say we put them down next turn, we use all of our mana to cast Lightning Helix, Lightning Strike, Get Lost, and uh, Shock. We cast four spells. He's going to split one, two, four, eight. Boom, 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 boom. War Leader's Call do that much damage. It'll do one for splitting, and then it'll do three more for splitting, 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 and then it'll do that many more splits, split, 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 split. Every single time one of them comes into play, another one comes into play, War Leader's Call is going to do damage. Every single one of these tokens is going to have plus two, plus two, potentially uh, plus three, plus three total, and they all swing in for huge amounts of damage, and you can make a duplicate of it. Uh, don't forget, you could duplicate another token again, so you could hold that back, create a token, duplicate that token, and then keep casting spells to duplicate all those tokens, 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 tokens. So at the high end, you can start really doing some crazy shenanigans with Storm Splitter. Uh, if you haven't just already killed them with all the basic stuff. One card I skipped over right here was one white and two, hop to it. Generating three rabbit tokens is extremely cool. I like it. Uh, three tokens for three mana at sorcery speed, triggers war leaders call three times, great stuff. Um, and of course, with Caretaker's Talent, that would be three three threes for three mana, which is extremely useful right there. So don't forget about Hop to it. Very interesting bunny card right there. And of course, they're adorable little bunnies. Look at that guy with his little armor and his little sword and his little staff. Okay, great. Uh, that's what we're looking at right there. On the sideboard, uh, like I said, a braid, destroy evil. Maybe you want to do one more Hop to it. Maybe more and more uh, War Leaders Call in case we only have three of those in case you want to really go ham on it. Uh, again, adjust your removal and combos as you might need. Probably the least important card is Storm Splitter. I would say that. Um, that is kind of the trick play at the high end that I want to get off there. Uh, but you don't, it's not essential. Only seven creatures. We really are relying on these tokens right here. Um, detectives, humans, otters, and wizards. 12 instants, four sorceries, four artifacts, nine enchantments. Uh, 24 lands on a 2.4 average, a little bit more white than red. That's what we're looking at right here. So this is my version of the Boros Engine Token Factory right here. Really, really good. And again, big help from Trex. I workshopped this all day with Trex uh, with this one. Kind of went back and forth on what we needed to do. So go check him out. The probably link will be in the description if you want to go check out his uh, Twitch. Um, also, I think I forgot a card here. Uh, Restless Bivouac. Yeah, I think two of them is fine. You can go one. Restless Vantage and Battlefield Forge, sure. And all those are basically going to be mana to taste. I think the one card that we might want to add just for funsies is Murex. Um, because that one potentially has the uh, ability to come in with any color. And you can create tokens with it every turn. You can create another Phyrexian Might, which is kind of what we're doing with Skrull's Hive. So uh, Murex is not a bad add on the high end right there. You, you take out a Plains and throw in a Murex right there. You could even throw more in there. Too. So I'm not mad at you for throwing a Murex in there. 
Uh, I kind of forgot about that, but I meant to put it in and I ended up playing without it. So that's what we're looking like right there. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. This is what we're doing right here. If you have any questions, concerns, feel free to ask them. Uh, I am climbing with this one and I apologize for my weird, sick voice that I have right now. Maybe you like it more. Maybe I sound even more deep and raspy for you. Let's get in the game here. Let's start clawing out of plat hell together, guys. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Don't forget to like and leave a comment. Funny, I wouldn't even fucking draw any. I'd mulligan down to four before I saw it land. Look at that. I'd mulligan down all the way to fucking four lands if I was running twenty. Are you kidding me? He's gonna run discard. If it's black, it's discard. Let's try Squirrel's Herbert. Storm Split is the worst card in the deck. Yeah, but I want to do something different. I can't. I can't get it, dude. I can't. I swear to God, dude. I can't get it. I can't get the lands, man. I can't get lands. Why? Why can't I not get lands? What? What does it have against this? Seriously, what does it have fucking against lands? What did I do? What did I do to make lands so angry? Let's get rid of Storm Splitter then. Piece of shit card. I don't need nothing anyways, right? Nope. Nope, can't even get three now. Impossible to even get three now. This man's got five, I've got two. Wrangles Prankle. Discard two cards, wonderful. We'll discard that. Boom, boom. Hey, look at that. What do you know? What do you fucking know? You were flooding half the night with 20. Maybe I'll take one out. Maybe that'll, uh... Hey, look. That happened now. He pulled Rankle's Prankle for the second time. Maybe he'll draw a third Rankle's Prankle. Nightmare. Two damage. Mana. Boom. Boom. Oh, look, a fourth mana. What do you fucking know? Twenty twenty two, dude. I'm at twenty four man on this deck. Nope. Hey, there's some. All right. Well, we got one. Good lord. People got to learn how to balance their discard decks. They 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 go they go way too heavy with it, and they run out of options. Man, you got to put Shaldra and some other attackers in there, man. The discard itself is not going to carry you through. It's a strategy. People overload on that shit, man. They fucking overload on it. We'll take out one Storm Splitter. 24, by the way. Just so y'all think I'm not bullshitting that I'm running 20 in this or something. 24. 24 on a 2.4 average. So, you know. Don't know what to say about that. First, fuck it, why not? Tired Claw, interesting. We'll wait. We'll wait to see what we gotta play removal on. He might play the, uh, I 
I feel like if I have Brotherhood's End with this deck, it's going to, um, it's going to really, it's going to really fuck him up. Yeah. This is going to really fucking ruin his life. He hit me with the oops, but he realized he fucked up there too, so that's good. Flame collar and stuff. We're gonna put down Scrub's Hive. Follow that up with a brush load of smite. And we're running a little low there, aren't you, buddy? Yeah, oops was right. I'm glad that he realized he was a little got too big for his bridges there and he had to oops himself again. He had to oops, I get it again. Oops, I did it again. I played with your heart. Fuck next turn. One of my residents decided to fight another one of your residents. Please recall the handcuffs used. Time passed. Uh oh. Sorry to hear that, Archeon. What uh what do you mean by resident? Bunnies. Berberus Spurge Gerber. Er. Gerber. Going in with Berberus Spurge. Chris, my Titus honestly suffers is trolling at Bloomborough. Shuffler is trolling at Bloomborough. That game backs 24 games. I get five lands and six draws in the next game. I'm stuck with. I'm a social worker, so I understand. Oh, my man took it. Took it like a champ. Took it like a champ. He took it like an absolute champ there. He was a little cocky at first, then he got humbled. I appreciate that. My hat's off to you, lizard player. Absolute Chad behavior right there. Playing lizards on his own terms. He got outplayed, tipped his hat, and took the beat. Much respect. That, I'll tell you what, that fucking sweeper saved me, man. That's the biggest thing, is having that removal, bro. That's, that's what makes it possible. Teamwork is what makes the dream work. That fucking, that fucking... 
turn three sweeper against most of these decks is, is the only thing that you're gonna need. I don't even think the Exile, I don't even think something like fucking Sunfall is necessary. Like, the turn three sweeper is so good. Just to kind of clear the board of various chaff. Chaff. Is just critical. Because it moves, the game moves so fast. It moves so fucking fast, man. Like, we, we can't, you, you can't, um, you can't do nothing about it, man. The, the, the game just is a thousand miles an hour, so. Um, let me do this. He's gonna play it again. I'll get rid of maybe Lightning Strike and I'll do Brotherhood. every turn. Nurturing Pixie's gonna knock it back. Should've got that fucking sweeper, though. <clears throat> I think Skrull's Hive is probably what needs to go there, huh? talent here. Hopefully he breaks. Ooh, rotten bow. Swing. He is a swing. Drop that. Yeah. I think the meta starting to coalesce around five decks. Four of them have black in them. Yeah, I think it is true, man. We are coalescing around. <clears throat> black and red are currently the best colors in the game. Bar none. No ifs, ands, or buffs around it. Yeah, the game is moving faster. And Amy the Amazonian on Twitter, she said, um, she basically said, statistically, if you look at, um, if you look at, uh, um, draft, if you look at draft wins, people are winning draft games statistically one turn early. Like, you can, you can look at the, at the stats that people are recording. And the game is literally moving faster. And I think that that is kind of to be expected. I don't think that that is that strange. I think that probably we could have expected that due to the fact that we are actually having, um, we're having, all right, I need my sweeper here, so i bad. We are having a small creatures that move quick. Um, 
And that's that's the biggest thing. Boom. No attacks. Boom. Oh yeah, he's fucked me over right here. So if I don't get uh if I don't get removal or sweepers, the game's over. Again, you were just said it. If you don't have a huge presence by turn four, or if you're not fucking running removal by this by this point, you're dead. Look at that. Boom boom. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. He 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 hit perfect hand. That means he's he's gonna get perfect win. There there's not there's not any there's not ifs ands or buts about it. I bricked out with this mana. I drew fucking uh, I drew eight mana out of thirteen. He's just gonna win the game. He's gonna win the game right now. As a matter of fact. Yep. Boom. Oh my man fucked up. He had the game in his hand, dude. He had the game in his fucking hand and he didn't play it. Oh, what an idiot. Oh man, this this shows me that he doesn't know the fucking uh Um He don't know what the fuck he's doing, man. He had it. All he needed to do is hurt himself with that kid's coilos. He didn't fucking play it. Bro, you gotta play it. You gotta play your fucking move, bro. I can't I can't be out here playing these cards for you, man. I can't be out here playing these cards for you, bro. Put it on. Put it on like Yagma or something like that. There we go. Perfect. Fucking fell for it. Fucking fell for it. Hey, what's up, Snow? How you doing? You can hear my fucked up voice. Dark Star Augur. Hello? Draw. Draw. I still didn't get it, but uh, he would have had it even bigger. She should be asleep. Essence Challenge, very nice. Trigger, trigger, boom, boom. Almost got outplayed there. I'm not even mad at that one. He almost got outplayed. Almost. <laughs> gang gang. Gang gang. Ice cream tastes so good. Mmm. Ice cream tastes so good. Gang gang. Gang gang. I'm sick. A werewolf. Snow for mod. Oh, I'm scared to give Snow mod powers. She'd be doing some weird shit. Rip. Is this another fucking bat deck? I'm gonna be mad at. Oh, it's a fucking bat deck. Um. Luckily, he can either take Get Lost or Brotherhood's End. Either one is bad for him. Yeah, the Brotherhood End is worse for him right there. Boom. Unless he grabs another card, then I'm fucked. But, we'll see. 
Urza Silex. Interesting. 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 He's going to blow the Silex. If he has the white mana, he's going to blow the Silex. Okay. They're a werewolf. Black Magic subscribe with Prime hype train running. Without love, where would you be not? Uh, 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 uh. Without love. <laughs> Train running. Oh, look at that mana. All right, we're gonna hold that Skrull's hives because he wants to blow that Silex real bad. Oh, he didn't have it. Finally do it. He's so happy. He's so happy he can blow the Silex. Does he have another sweep? He has another sweeper deeper. All we need is a ping card and we're good to go. That's for sure. Very nice. Boom. Draw. Boom. Is there you go, man. We'll get to our we'll get to our burn card. There it is. We'll get there eventually, man. Thank you so much for the hype train, everybody. Seven Black Magic, thank you. Trex, thank you. Uh, Silent Snow, appreciate it. Jar Werewolf does in fact always tell me to marry you. That is something that he is known for.
Oh, I'm gonna go get my hauls. That should help. Snow gave me some hauls. I'm gonna deck these hauls. He's, he's running control here. Let's bait out some stuff. Let's bait it out. There we go. He couldn't help himself. he want to do is fucking counterspell right now. He doesn't even know what else to do. Snow, go to sleep. You've been up for fucking 100 hours. Snow. Go to bed. Let's try it. Let it through. You and the sharks. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am? By the way, guys, are you looking at this little baby bat right here? Are you looking at how adorable this tiny little baby bat is? Look at that guy. just a little guy. It's just a little guy. Sorry I'm eating halls to help my throat. <sighs> Sweet dreams are made of cheese. Who am I to disagree? that count black magic you want a different one sweet dreams are made of cheese who am I to disagree traveled the world and the seven cheese good day to sing some Johnny Cash while I'm Johnny Cash Good lord. Tracks. 
I don't think anybody needed to hear that. Hates it. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you how much Control hates this deck. Let me tell you how much Control hates this deck, bro. Let me tell you how much Control fucking hates this deck. It hates it. Real bad. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can find some more control decks to bully. <sighs> I'm trying to think of a good Johnny Cash song. I don't want to do Boy Named Sue. Let's do, um... I hurt myself today. To see if I still feel I focused on the pain The only thing that's real The needle tears a hole The old familiar sting Try to pull it Push it, pull it, push it All the way What have I become, my sweetest friend? Everyone I know goes away in the end, and you can have it all. My empire. Dirt. I will let you down. I will make her. By the way, if anybody tells me that that's a Nine Inch Nails song and not a Johnny Cash song, you got to take that up with Trent Reznor, because he said that's not my song anymore. That's what he said. Okay. Uh, we will block that three. Let's do Caretaker's Town. Okay. We're gonna have to do Hop to it.
Wabango, Wabango. Okay. Didn't get my sweeper here. The sweeper would have helped. The sweeper fixes everything. The sweeper fixes all. Four leaders call. At least we have that. Not as much as Asheron's call, but uh, draw, top deck. little bit too much mana and not enough sweepers I didn't get the flame sweepers didn't get any flame sweepers there which is a shame all right I think we'll close it up soon Bad opener. Bad, bad opener. Better. I was gonna say that. That fucking sucked. Uh, eh. And the who? Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Take, a, take note of how often I'm droughting. That's what you need to be doing. You need to be worried about me droughting instead of me flooding, man. You see how much I droughted? We were playing earlier. We got stuck on fucking two mana for three games in a row. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I don't think so, man. I keep that shit. I keep that shit fucking. I keep. I stay strapped, bro. I keep that shit up fucking. Unlocked. Yeah, I don't fucking think so. Let's do reverse Fergigur. Burf, burf, burf. A curve. Burn. Alchemist foretold as foretold. Blow it up. Not gonna blow it up. I right, can put down the Vivi. Vivi. We'll go with hop to it. Over, over, overblown. Overblown. Bang. So you blow it up. Down to four. Try to get me, man. A little faster on the draw there. A little faster on the sling. A little faster on the gunsling right there. Yeah. <laughs> like it. All right. Well, 
Boop, 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 boop. Feeling any better? No. My, those halls help my throat a little bit. But I'm about to take these uh, Tylenol PMs and then fucking knock myself out. Yeah. Shakedown breakdown. Let me get this done while I still there's <clears throat> still some life left in my lungs. Cell phone again? Ooh. Sorry about that. Odd. It does that sometimes. <laughs> 